hello friends welcome back so today i am going to discuss about this um, cortex m4 uh, registers and uh, some arm specific things and uh, let's move forward so i have taken arm use cases based on three different isa that is arm origin 7m arm origin 7em arm origin 8a although comparing these three is not apple to apple match but the idea for comparing these three is just to understand instructions and features on different arm based devices different arm profiles based devices so let's see instruction set in first arm version 7 m and second arm version 7 em you can see thumb and thumb 2 and arm version 8 a profile you can see architecture 32 architecture 64 so we will be discussing a uh, instruction related differences what is thumb thumb to architecture 32 64 all this in next session today idea to understand that registers of this cortex m4 and second case here dsp related things supported in all fpu is mentioned like um, bfp4 single precision in first cortex Uh, like uh, arm version 7m it is mention optional second single precision double precision it is uh, version 7em also mm, that is that uh, floating point 5 is also mention optional and in last it is there vpf4 in the arm version 8a it is there available and what it means by optional means that architecture has a provision now it's up to the device vendor which follows that architecture whether they implement that particular part in a particular device or not similarly cache so in the cache optional in first case um, arm version 7m and second case it has instruction cache data cache third case it has l1 cache per core and l2 is shared between the cores and all the these advanced feature like neon smd trust zone virtualization mmu are available on this arm version 8a so if you need these features then you have to go to a device based on arm version 8a specification and based on this specification we have examples of core implemented in first case arm version 7m cortex m4 and in second case cortex m7 in third case cortex a53 and i will be using corresponding evaluation board to simulate anything to evaluate anything related to uh, these devices that is stm32 nucleo in first case second case idodamx 1050rt and third third case it will be the raspberry pi let's move forward so cortex m4 stm32 i would like to discuss three very important aspects of this which may impact that uh, software architecture so these are mode privilege level stack pointer so if it is thread mode then privilege level will be unprivileged and stack pointer can be msp or psp that's the main stack pointer or process stack pointer if mode is handler mode it can be uh, privilege level will be always privileged uh, and uh, stack pointer will be always main stack pointer process stack can be either 
thread or handler. After reset, CPU will have thread mode. So thread mode is normal user application case and handler in interrupt subroutine case. And unprivileged level will have limited access. This stack pointer in thread mode can be configured using control register. User application will run in thread mode. If any interrupt or exception event occurs, it will automatically enter in handler mode. After executing interrupt service routine, it will return to thread mode. Then different privilege levels help in defining user application access limits. It means in unprivileged mode, user will have limited access to registers, memory and other resources. So certain system critical register will not cannot be accessed by user application running in unprivileged mode. Privileged mode will have all kind of access. Second, you might have noticed two stack pointer concept here. So what is the benefit of this? One of the benefit, if you maintain two stack pointers, one can be used, for example, main stack pointer can be used for kernel and process stack pointer can be used for applications, user applications. So this way you can provide some bigger amount of memory to kernel for stack and provide a small amount of memory to different user applications. And in that way, if user application is running out of uh, stack, it can't corrupt the operating system related stack. That is one benefit. Second is that it helps in managing multitask application. So we'll see how it helps in managing the multitask application. Let's assume you have PSP uh, for the process user application and process one is at is using PSP one uh, pointer within that it is allocated that memory uh, shown in the first slot here with the PSP one and second one process two is allocated the PSP two. What will happen if process one is executing that will be executed in thread mode and it will be using PSP one pointer in PSP register. If interrupt occur, that will be uh, that kernel schedule, scheduler interrupt. So that will take it automatically to the handler mode and the interrupt subroutine will be using that um, MSP main stack pointer because in handler mode that stack pointer is main stack pointer and that there the instruction can change SP equal to PSP2 that is PSP register can be set to PSP2 so that is SP for process 2 so if it is switching context switching happening process 1 to process 2 so within the interrupt service routine handler instructions can be used to do that and after returning from the interrupt process 2 will execute in thread mode using the PSP2 pointer in PSP register. So this way uh, that um, switching fast switching automatically from process 1 to process 2 and then process 2 then whatever the loading or unloading of different temporary data related to stack can be done quickly. 
तो दिस इज द बेनिफिट ऑफ दिस एंड लेट सी रजिस्टर्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड डिफरेंट रजिस्टर्स वे हैव लाइक रजिस्टर्स आर जीरो टू आर ट्वेल्व एंड दिस स्टैक पॉइंटर दैट इज आर थर्टीन लिंक रजिस्टर आर फोर्टीन प्रोग्राम काउंटर दैट इज आर फिफ्टीन सो दीज रजिस्टर्स आर जीरो टू आर ट्वेल्व आर फॉर डेटा मैनिपुलेशन इन एर्थमेटिक लॉजिक यूनिट फॉर फ्लोटिंग पॉइंट यूनिट वी हैव सेपरेट सेट ऑफ रजिस्टर्स एंड लो रजिस्टर्स कैन बी एक्सेस बाई ऑल इंस्ट्रक्शन मीन्स सिक्सटीन बिट इन कोडेड और थर्टी टू बिट इन कोडेड हाई रजिस्टर कैन नॉट बी एक्सेस बाई ऑल सिक्सटीन बिट इन कोडेड इंस्ट्रक्शन दैट वी विल सी वैन वी विल डिस्कस द थम एंड अदर इंस्ट्रक्शन एंड स्टेक पॉइंटर इज बेसिकली दैट रन टाइम टेम्परेरी डेटा मेमोरी पॉइंटर यू नो स्टेक इज बींग यूज टू स्टोर डिफरेंट टेम्परेरी वेरेबल और पैरामीटर बिटवीन द फंक्शंस एंड दोज काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स एंड लिंक रजिस्टर वेन एवर दिस एग्जीक्यूट बी एल और बी एल एक्स इंस्ट्रक्शन इट बेसिकली रिसीव द रिटर्न एड्रेस फ्रॉम द पी सी इट विल सेव द रिटर्न एड्रेस एंड आल्सो इट कैन बी यूज इट विल बी यूज इन एक्सेप्शन रिटर्न दैट इफ लिंक रजिस्टर इज बींग सेट विथ सर्टेन सर्टेन एड्रेस दैन वी विल लर्न फ्रॉम असेंबली इंस्ट्रक्शन वैन इट रिटर्न फ्रॉम इट कैन ब्रांच टू दैट पर्टिकुलर एड्रेस ओके सो प्रोग्राम काउंटर इज बेसिकली द रन टाइम इंस्ट्रक्शन मेमोरी पॉइंटर वेर एवर इज इंस्ट्रक्शन एग्जीक्यूटिंग प्रोग्राम काउंटर विल पॉइंट टू दैट सो दैट ऑल्सो विल सी वेन वी विल डिस्कस इंस्ट्रक्शन वेन वी विल डू एक्सपेरिमेंट्स विथ यू नो दिस पर्टिकुलर एवोल्यूशन बोर्ड सो रजिस्टर आर जीरो टू आर ट्वेल्व पी एस पी एल आर एंड पी सी can be accessed with unprivileged label as well for other kind of register you need privileged label and there are certain special register for example uh, you know uh, combined program status register this uh, double word um, uh, 64 bit register d0 to d15 and floating point um, uh, status control register Uh, so and then priority mask register and base priority mask register fault mask control msp uh, psp i already discussed s0 to s31 that is 32 bit single word register today i am not going to discuss anything related to the floating point or anything related to the interrupt handling so i will just discuss that program status register that is one of the important aspect control register msp psp let's see that xpcr is basically combined program status register what does that mean combined it means it has three different kind of register uh, values combined in one that is apc sr is the, that is the application program status register so uh, this status register basically help us in you know uh, understanding the current state of the uh, device so you will see similar kind of status register like machine status register in power pc architecture and other uh, architecture and this apsr can be accessed in unprivileged level as well because this is application specific what it contains it contains like flags of previous instruction execution so you might be knowing from 8086 also flags like mm, carry zero overflow those kind of flags will be there okay those bit by bit will be discussed later ipsr that is the interrupt program status register that will contain just the interrupt vector number of the current interrupt service routine and exception Execution program status register will contain the thumb state bit. Whether that current state is in thumb uh, using thumb instruction encoding or ARM, and the execution state bits of 
either the uh, if then instruction or that interpretable continuable instruction that is the ICI and control is the important uh, register which contain floating point whether it is active or not if it is not active there is no meaning of um, any of the floating point related register and SP uh, selection stack pointer selection for whether the current uh, uh, program is using MSP or PSP and uh, that kind of um, selection can be done in that uh, thread mode and uh, this is that um, privilege level whether unprivileged or um, uh, privileged and MSP as I told you handler always use this and by default MSP is being used in both handler and thread mode user can change that to uh, PSP for uh, user mode that is the uh, thread mode mm, can be configured to use this we have seen about the using the control register so these are some special function registers which can be uh, accessed by using special instructions and have a specific purpose especially machine status register and that stack related control uh, registers and all that So if you found this information useful, please like this video and subscribe to this uh, Embed Kari channel and Embed Kari career related information, job related, industry related information you can find here at uh, Facebook page. And uh, for all other topics related to Arduino, C, Python, etc. you can find, go to visit our website. Thanks for your time.